We are in the middle of a digital gold rush, and there's a new kind of billionaire in Boomtown. Does your new brand have the pioneer spirit necessary to set out and claim your share? Branding from scratch, how to break first ground. Hi everyone, this is Canon Wing with Inspiration of Millions. The internet is a boom town. Just like boom towns from the gold rush era, the internet seemed to come out of nowhere and become a bubbling spring of bustling commerce. The pioneering spirit of our ancestors took us to many new lands. The pioneers set out with a willingness to brave the unknown and carve out their own trail in order to break new ground. There was a great deal of risk involved and a great deal to gain if their ventures proved successful. The pioneers of today are digital pioneers, braving the wild frontiers of the World Wide Web. Commerce as we know it shall never be the same. Launching a new brand in today's digital boomtown makes you a modern pioneer, bold, daring, and with courage enough to take some risks if it means claiming your market share. There's a new kind of billionaire in Boomtown, the digital entrepreneur. They didn't need to graduate from college. Their parents aren't necessarily rich. The World Wealth Report determined that in 2015 alone, nearly 1,920,000 new millionaires were created globally from internet entrepreneurship. Amongst the, some of these people are stay-at-home moms, college dropouts who started travel blogs, a kindergarten teacher who sold daily lesson plans online to other teachers, and unlikely millionaires who braved the wild unknown with a pioneer spirit, tried something new, and hit serious pay dirt. You can too. Anyone can. That's the fun of it. The hardest part of any new enterprise is breaking first ground. So today, we're going to cover the first three things you can do to build your brand like a boomtown. And they are location, location, location. <laughs> Identify the location of your brand's ideal cus consumer. Customers are your gold rush and brand loyalty is your gold strike. Mind from the source. Identify other brands that struck it rich with your brand's ideal community and mine information on how they did it. What held them back? Where is their fertile land for you to mine? And finally, pave the way. Make your brands easy to find, easy to follow, and desirable to join. During the Gold Rush era, very few of the thousands of people who braved the treacherous terrains to seek their fortunes actually found any gold. It was a long shot and a dangerous one. Most who survived went home empty-handed, and many never returned at all. It was the entrepreneurs with the pioneer spirit who served the thousands of gold-hungry prospectors that really hit pay dirt. Mark Twain was known for having remarked, during the gold rush, it's a good time to be in the pick and shovel business. It was the pioneers who were in the business of people and not those seeking out a flash in the pan who truly prospered from the gold rush. And now over a century later, author Will Hobbs observed, the internet is like a gold rush the only people making money are those who sell the pans. Your customers are your gold rush, and brand loyalty is your gold strike. Whatever business you are in, brand loyalty is your business plan. The first three things you can do to build your brand begins with location, location, location. A lot of my clients have come to me and said, I have this amazing product, but my ideal customer can't afford it, or I have this Brilliant idea for a service, but my ideal customer doesn't know they need it. Know your ideal customer's location and break ground where they are at today, right now. Not where you think they want to be tomorrow. Know where your ideal customers are physically, mentally, and emotionally. That's the location, location, location. Today's consumers want to feel like the brands they associate with understand them and can relate to them on a personal level and serve them on a personal level. You wouldn't go to the desert to find water. You wouldn't go to the ocean to find dry land. They won't come to you because you have an idea about where you think they should want to be. You're in the business of being able to get them where they already want to be. Feel their actual need, not your desire to show them what they should need. 
build your brand to meet your ideal customer's needs from where they are, where they're at physically, mentally, and emotionally today, right now, just as they are. Know your ideal customer better than anyone else. The brand that knows them the best wins, wins their share of the market. You want them to see your brand and have an instant recognition that you finally have made the thing they've always been looking for. You get them. This is where they belong inside your brand. The next step, mine from the source. Once you've identified where your gold mine of ideal customers are, the, it's time to do some digging. <laughs> the internet is rich with information about your ideal brand's communities, preferences, and priorities. You just have to know where to look. Which brands have already struck pay dirt with your ideal brand community? Go to their website, their Facebook pages, their Twitter accounts, read their reviews, join their public forums, ask their customers questions about their user experience, and then listen, listen, listen. All of your brand's income will come from listening to your brand community. Mine information from the brands who have already claimed to share within your ideal community. Look for the similarities between the different brands. Note the differences. What are the emotions they set out to inspire? What are the values and ethics they uphold most prominently? Where do they come up short? How can you know their customers better than they do? Gather these nuggets of wisdom straight from the source. You'll find this information extremely valuable when you set out to establish your own style for your brand. And finally, pave the way. Once you're familiar with where your ideal community is located and which brands they gravitate towards, you will be ready to start laying brick to build your own boomtown. The key here is to make it easy for your ideal customers to join your brand's community. This is about more than internet presence, ad spending, and literal accessibility across social media platforms. It's about why they buy. The decision to buy is emotional. MRI brain scan studies have proven that a person's brain recognizes their favorite brands with the same neural pathways firing up as when they recognize their loved ones. That's how deep the connection can be for you. Still think buying is sometimes logical, not always emotional? Did you know that when the area of the brain that processes emotions becomes damaged, the person will lose their ability to make decisions all together? That's because every decision is an emotional one. Whenever someone joins your community, it means they're moved from somewhere else. Either they move from having no solution or from having a different one, from another brand or another technology. Moving is one of the top stressors in life. Change is always like something we try to avoid because it costs time, money, money, energy to move from one place to another. Make choosing your brand the easiest move possible. Pave the way for your ideal community by valuing every vulnerability. Time, money, ability, and peer pressure are the top vulnerabilities for a customer that they encounter when faced with pur a purchasing decision. That's what's going through your head before you buy every time. So when you're building your brand, curate a voice of compassion for these vulnerabilities so your customer feels safe to face them head on. Don't wait for them to tell you they feel uncomfortable. Instead, use the voice of your brand to inspire the courage to face these vulnerabilities with the support of your brand. Value, valuing vulnerability as a strength is a concept that is new to business culture, and vulnerability in general has been stigmatized as a weakness and a liability. But extensive research done by Brene Brown, specifically on the subject of vulnerability in business, has revealed that vulnerability is the birthplace of innovation, creativity, and change, all of which are the heart of that pioneering spirit. Today's consumers in the digital market now have more intimate access to the brands they connect with than ever before. What all this enhanced human interaction has revealed is that vulnerability is something we all have in common. Embracing this commonality in branding bonds your consumer community. A bonded brand community finds that collective courage to admit to having limiting beliefs, and together they overcome those limiting beliefs by using your brand. 
And this is how a brand becomes an inspiration to millions. Pave the way for your brand to form a community by valuing every vulnerability. Once a person makes the purchase, they become a member of your community. And this means they have made a journey, called upon that courage and their own pioneer spirit to discover what a greater future your brand may hold in store for them. Promise them their greater future and your customers will become your gold rush. Keep your promise and brand loyalty will be your gold strike. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you feel like you've struck gold now that you've been equipped with the first three things you can do to build your brand. So let's recap. They are location, location, location. Mine from the source and pave the way. All that's left to do now is begin. Charge up your pioneering spirit and take your brand through the first three things you can do to build your brand like a boom town. Start by identifying the most prominent vulnerability within your ideal brand community. Remember, the top vulnerabilities a buyer faces are time, money, energy, and peer pressure. These vulnerabilities will be the obstacles your brand community must overcome before they buy, before they enter your brand. Once you have identified the top vulnerability or the top obstacle to buy, brainstorm on ways that your brand can inspire your ideal customers to overcome them. For guidance and inspiration, run it through the 10 landmarks of branding. Soon you will be well on your way to claiming your share. Coming out of nowhere always begins with one brick, one swing of the ax, one step off the beaten path. Do it with enthusiasm. Do it with the heart of a pioneer. And as you embark on your journey, always remember to love what you do and love how you do it because you can do it. Thanks for watching. Don't miss out on a single thing. Subscribe below. And here's something else I think you'll love.